let us solve few questions like you know actually whatever we discussed in transformer OCSC test of transformer same thing exactly same thing we are going to do okay that's why separately in induction motor like you know block rotor test and kind of no load test especially we need not like you know go into that because problems can come only in this way only anyway like you know a three phase four pole 400 volts 50 H star connected induction motor has following circuit parameters r1 they have given r2 dash they have given x1 x2 dash they have given xm they have given the starting torque when motor is started direct online is <coughs> actually we are right to discuss starters not required directly if you start directly if you start how much will be the slip here slip is going to be one okay so when slip is one how much is the torque like you know starting torque he is asking so let us try to do it let us take the model like you know r1 x1 x2 r2 by s okay so this is going to be 1.2 ohm this is going to be 1.2 ohm and r2 dash is going to be 0.5 ohm and this is going to be 1.0 ohm okay and where to draw xm to be precise like you know in induction machine xm is supposed to be drawn here one thing and second thing is rc like you know core loss of the what do you say induction motor you are not supposed to remove here and you are not supposed to what do you say add at the end like you know steel mids model okay but still it's okay approximate like you know clearly he said that use approximate model okay means that keep xm here because even if some currents are flowing through xm some currents are flowing through XM. Now those currents, like you know, they will develop the flux, but they will not develop the torque. No? Okay, so it will not develop the torque. Now this should be by S R two by S, but S equal to one at starting. Okay. Now directly, let me consider four pole, four hundred volts, star connected. So how much will be the input voltage here? Four hundred by root three. Okay. So forget about it. Because current flowing through XM, current flowing through XM will not be able to develop any torque. Okay. So try directly try to calculate current flowing here. Okay. So how much is the current here? Current here is going to be V1 400 by root 3 divided by 1 plus 0.5, 1.5 plus J 2.4 okay so if you calculate my starting current will be 81.6 amperes okay actually directly i can take 1.5 square plus 2.4 square under root can be taken but just i thought of proving that like you know how much starting power factor will be so 81.6 at power factor angle of 58 degrees 58 degrees our power factor is going to be 0.53 okay because starting power factor should be less or not yes okay in induction motor that is the disadvantage of induction motor anyway once you know currents i2 is nothing but i starting okay how much is t starting t starting equal to m is nothing but number of phases 3 omega s into i2 square into r2 by s is going to be 1 okay so this is going to be 3 by how much is omega s 4 poles 50 heads so 1500 so 2 pi n by 60 into i2 square 81.6 square into r2 is going to be 0 0.5 0 0.5 the answer is going to be 63.58 not a matter so answer will be 63.58 so 63.6 okay so directly if you supply rated voltage that is nothing but direct online or dol starter about starter as of now it's not required let us think of one more problem of in the similar lines a three phase 10 kilowatt 400 volts four pole 50 h star connected induction motor draws 20 amperes on full load okay draws 20 amperes on full load it's no load and block rotor test data are given no load test data they have given block rotor test data they have given neglecting copper loss in no load test and core loss in block rotor test estimate motor full load efficiency okay so like you know what is no load test means how to compare because anyway we learnt in transformer we learnt in transformer so we are not supposed to like you know repeat again here in induction okay of course if we discuss 
too much of discussion will be there but like you know let us see in detail course okay for gate 2020 this is enough okay so no load test no load test is kind of oc test in transformer and block rota test is like sc test in transformer okay so sc test can be conducted at any uh, what do you say current level at any frequency or not yes same sc test like you know only series brand should be considered oc test only shunt brand should be considered okay do that do that because means of course in uh, some reference books they have given like you know because the reference books are meant for btech students okay so two popular others okay one popular other write in one way another popular other write in another way basically that question that way cannot come in exam okay because there are so many parameters like you know interlinked interlinked anyway that will not come this is enough okay now <clears throat> no load test oc test i need not bother whether they connected at rated voltage rated frequency or not because they have to connect at rated voltage rated frequency rated voltage so kind of transformer core loss in OC test but here this will be rotational losses because under no load condition my rotor is going to rotate or not mechanically yes mechanical loss will be there core loss also will be there that will become rotational loss in induction motor but in like you know transformer that will be that was core loss now block rotor test is like SC test SC test okay so in order to find efficiency I need to calculate losses so rotational losses which are constant losses is going to be 1002 okay now 762 sc test block rotor test sc test is nothing but copper loss at 15 amperes at 15 amperes but they said that 20 amperes is a full load current so if they connected 15 amperes losses are this much if at all if they connected uh, full load it will be increased or not yes 20 amperes 15 to 20 if current is increased copper loss has to increase and they ask like you know calculate full load efficiency full load efficiency in the sense efficiency has to be calculated at 20 amperes now let us uh, write down okay so means what is the output let me repeat it again okay so always machine capacity is the output only okay so this 10 kilowatt is the output only output only okay so let me calculate first of all copper losses at full load is going to be how much at 15 amperes 762 762 and it should be increased so 20 by 15 is the increase square i square r i square r okay and now after that let us calculate efficiency at full load okay now in transformer like you know we used to have efficiency calculations efficiency at full load unity power factor efficiency at full load 0.8 will not be there in induction why very simple at full load the power factor is fixed okay loading conditions like you know current and power factor are uh, interconnected with the term of slip slip is the only independent variable that's why in transformer i used to write full load unity power factor full load 0.8 power factor that particular thing will not be there in induction okay so efficiency at full load is going to be how much what is the output here 10 kilowatt so 10 kilowatt divided by output 10 kilowatt plus okay what are core laws are rotational laws or OC test 1002 directly I can take I need not bother whether they conducted the test at full load or something like that rated voltage rated frequency plus copper loss full load because it is full load so 762 into 20 by 15 square okay so the answer is going to be 80.93 so this is going to be 80.93 percent so answer is 80.93 or 81 81 is going to be the answer in this problem if we see the locked rotor current in a three phase star connected 15 kilowatt four pole 230 volts 50 hedge induction motor at rated conditions is 50 amperes okay neglecting losses and magnetizing current the approximate locked rotor line current run when the motor is connected to 236 volt 57 head supply is okay basically if it is like you know no load test 
okay no load test should be conducted or oc test of transformer should be conducted at rated voltage rated frequency but like you know sc test can be conducted at any current level with any non-zero frequencies similarly here also this is going to be locked rotor test so in locked rotor test what is the rated voltage rated frequency 230 volts 50 hertz but he is trying to conduct a 237 236 volts 57 hertz it's okay because means in sc test sc test in the sense only series branch parameters series branch parameters are linear parameters okay so the moment they are linear parameters like you know anywhere we can contact okay and he said that like you know neglecting losses and magnetizing current shunt branch can be removed okay so at starting conditions how much will be the relative velocity between stator mmf and rotor almost ns okay so at starting conditions like you know means if i stop my rotor not to rotate under that condition my slip is going to be one so slip is high high slip region high slip region in the sense r2 by s is less x2 is going to be more so we are going to consider x2 only so if i consider x2 for example x2 only or some reactance part okay so if i supply 230 volts okay and 50 h 50 h i'm going to get the current of 50 amperes 50 amperes right now for example if i maintain 236 volts 236 volts at 57 h how much will be the current is that's it okay now if voltage is increased if voltage is increased the current should be increased and if frequency is increased reactance will be increased such that the current will be reduced so how much will be this current this current equal to 50 into as the voltage is increased means that current should be increased so 236 by 230 increase and if frequency is increased my current should be reduced because reactance is going to be increased so it should be reduced in the sense 57 should be in the denominator 50 should be in the numerator okay so this is going to be 45 amperes okay so answer is going to be 45 amperes 45 amperes